Today we're going to set up the open source sneaker monitors that are provided for free on my GitHub page. If you haven't seen them before, the repo on GitHub holds a number of website monitors for various websites including like sneakers, all Shopify sites, Supreme, Zalando, Offspring, Foot Locker and many many others. I'm constantly updating these monitors based on your feedback so if you want to contribute please join my Discord server that's linked below. I'll be dropping loads of other videos on web scraping, web automation, machine learning and other tech related videos so please do subscribe. So with that, there are five simple steps that you need to follow to run these monitors. Number one, you need to check that you have Python installed. Number two, you need to download the sneaker monitors. Three, install the Python libraries. Four, configure the monitor the way you want it to run. And five, just run the monitor. So let's go through these steps. So first thing you need to do is check that you have Python installed. So if you already know you don't have it installed, you can either go to python.org and install it from here, or you can go to the Microsoft Store if you're on Windows check that you have it installed you can use the following command so first thing you need to do is open up a terminal or command prompt and the command python dash dash version so I'm using python 3.9 if you're on Mac or Linux you might need to use python 3 dash dash, uh, dash, dash version instead so whenever you see me write python um, and then a command following that always use python 3 Similarly on Windows you can also use uh, PY instead of Python, so this will do the same thing. There we go. I do have multiple versions of Python, so this is why you might see this. Do make sure that you're using a uh, Python version that's above 3.7. So 3.7 is fine, anything above that. I'll be using Python 3.9. Step 2 is you need to download or clone the sneaker monitors. So first we need to go onto the repo page and you see this green button here, you click that you can either clone it using this URL here or you can download the zip folder I'm going to download the zip folder and then I'm just going to drag that to my desktop Step 3 is you need to install the Python libraries we can open up terminal command prompt and now we need to um, open up this folder here so I know I've installed it to my desktop so I can use the command cd desktop cd stands for change directory so we're navigating to the desktop and now I want to open up this folder so I do cd sneaker monitors master um, and then within this folder there's another folder with the same name so I can do this again and if I use the command dir which lists us all the, the contents of the directory um, you can see that these are the same. So now we're going to use Python's package installer pip, which should come pre-installed with your when you install Python. Uh, if not, um, you can just have a quick Google and try and find how to install pip. If you still have problems with that, just uh, send a message on on Discord. So we can use pip to install the libraries. So pip install dash r requirement txt. So what this does is it installs all the requirements, all the libraries that are specified in this file here. So if I click enter, I should have everything. So it says requirements already installed for all the, uh, all the libraries. Uh, for you, probably you'll have uh, a lot of downloads for all the libraries. So now we've installed all the libraries. Uh, step four is we need to configure the monitors the way we want it to run. So how we can do that is we can open up the folder so I want to run the let's say the sneakers monitor so I'll open up the sneakers monitor and there's a config file here if I right click uh, I can I can edit it in a notepad you can edit in VS code any type of text it would be fine and we just have to fill in um, all these details here so webhook you should get this from your discord uh, discord server uh, sneakers has um, a location and language code that you need to specify. Not all monitors have this. Some monitors do, some monitors don't. Some other monitors have their own details that you need to specify. So you can find out all the details when you open up the uh, uh, repo, click monitors, uh, and click on the uh, monitor you want to run, so sneakers, and then here are all the notes. So in this case, you need to specify the location and language code for the location that you want. So I'm in the UK, so GB and NGGB is what I need to specify. So location is GB and NGGB. 
Uh, you can also use the free proxy. If you want to use the free proxy, change this to true, and then you can specify some uh, proxy locations that you want to use. Do note that this is uh, a free proxy that is, these are proxies that are being scraped off the internet, so um, do keep that in mind. Uh, you can specify a delay. This is the delay between requests. Uh, you can specify your own proxies, uh, which I do recommend. You can have some keywords, and also you can change the, the bot features, so what the bot looks like when it sends a, a notification. So once you've done that, you can save the file, and then the next step is to run the, run the monitor. So to run the monitor, we need to run this monitor file. Uh, there's a few different ways we can do this. Um, so I'm going to show you one way where we can open up command prompt and uh, navigate to the folder. So we can go to CD monitor, uh, monitors, DL. We can open up the sneakers folder. And the monitor file is here. And we can just run the file using the one python monitor.py. And you hit enter. It should just start running. So it says sneaker monitor has started, and you may have to wait some time until a notification does appear on your Discord channel. Um, this can be hours, this can be a couple of days, it just depends on when, when the site is restocked or there's a change on the site. Do keep in mind, I do suggest running these monitors on a server. Don't leave them running on your computer, this can damage your computer. Um, living on a server will be the best option. And this is the best option because you do need to keep them running continuously. If I close this, it no longer it, the monitors are no longer working. They're no longer monitoring the site. Uh, so do keep that in mind. And uh, that's the end of the video. So like I said, I'll be constantly updating these monitors. So please join the Discord server below uh, to keep up to date with these monitors. And also come see some of the other projects that we're working on. Uh, if this video helped you, please give it a like. And do subscribe uh, because I'll be putting out loads more tech-related content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.